Hey everybody, welcome back to another Kuma Style review. What we've got here is TFC Toys, their Phobos, which is their homage to Dive Bomb from the Predaking Combiner. And before I go ahead and get into reviewing this, if after this review you like what you see, this one's widely available at multiple retailers. So go to one of our friends and sponsors, uh, Chosen Prime, TF Source, H3 and Up, uh, Toy Dojo. Order yours wherever, love it, enjoy it, finish off your earrings. But out of the box, what he comes with is the cannon, a fist, as well as a pickaxe, or the last piece to the sword. We'll go ahead and just show how that looks in hand really quick. Alright, so there's that. And then we'll just go ahead and get the sword assembled. Get it out of the way. It just combines with the other pieces. Alright. Zoom out some. See how that looks. I do have Ares here in the back. We'll get that assembled too. Get the cannon out of the way. Get the fist out of the way. And we'll look at the cannon and stuff like that later. It has a really neat light up gimmick. But, taking a look at it, from every angle, lots of play in the wings here too. So you can see it has two black pieces inside there that you could fold out. These go up and down, I actually take it off. These lock them into place when you've got them all the way in. They go up and down, orange piece, the black piece, and they go in and out too. So, a lot of... A lot of playability and options there. So we'll get this back attached. And even with the wings fully extended, we'll zoom out here. He holds poses and stuff like that really well. It's a stable figure. He's got good heel support too. Um, taking a measuring tape real quick. Wow, I actually need to extend it a bit more than I normally do. But From my view, I'm not looking through the LCD, but it looks like just under, well, just over 19 inches. So about 19 and a quarter from my view. You guys have it on camera, so you'll see it a bit better. I was looking at it from a downwards angle, but actually getting these wings back into place. And see, you already see the strong ratchet joints and stuff like that. It's definitely a solid figure. I really like the face sculpt on him though. And as you've seen with the rest of the Ares team, these are not direct G1 homages. So the alt modes I'd say are updated versions of the animals they portray. This is more of a crow or a raven. Um, but the bot modes definitely are their own thing. I like them because they actually fit with kind of the Neo G1, the classics line. Having those properties. I'm taking a look here. Ball jointed head, upwards, downwards, it, it's awesome. So, really strong ratchets in the shoulders. Okay. Bicep swivel. I keep opening that part. That clips into place, but that's just me doing that. Good bend at the elbow. Thigh swivel. Forgot to put those skirts down so you guys can see that. Inward outward ratchet. There's ratchet back and forth too, but it just doesn't have that big clicky feeling. Knee bend there. Has swivel. Alright, and definitely ball jointed feet, tilt, and really good heel support there. Alright, and those back down. Well, we'll keep the wing back off because we're actually about to transform it into its alt mode now. The alt mode, in my opinion, is actually where this thing shines. So we'll get the head put down.
All right. So that's the head. Okay. Get these skirt flaps up. Arms push up. There we go. And then they just tab into the side of the skirt like so. Make sure they're straight. Put those tab pretty tight. Alright. So for the legs. And the feet just turn around. Now, if you want, you can put the feet down and then just have the back talon out. I actually like the feet out since they're black and you still see the talon anyway. It just gives them more, more support. Put that tail down. Clip this back on. Actually, these are supposed to be together. Doing this figure a disservice. There you go. Actually, get these expanded here. Now, one thing, and I'm actually just going to leave it like this. You know, you saw that you can angle it however you want. I didn't mention each of these feathers, they're individually articulated, but also. I don't know why this keeps wanting to pop out. And it's literally never done it. I think it's how I have the tail position before I did this damn review. But anyways, the wings are individually articulated and each of the feathers comes out and can become a sword. So a really cool feature there. I didn't want to forget about that. The head, you can angle it either way, up or down. It has those backwards knees, like a bird. For stability reasons though, I'm just putting it here. And the mouth does open. All right. So that is the bird mood. And we're actually going to get this transformed into the fist mode. I knock things over on my setup here. Alright, so same difference. Alright, get the head like so. Pulling those arms back out. Now, I wouldn't call it a double jointed elbow. It's like a bend at the bicep. So, not a second elbow. Put those fold up, like so. The feet, you just reverse them back. Tail feathers are articulated. Oops. We're bringing those back. Now, just like the legs, the thigh, or the waist on this guy, does extend upwards, and that's actually the elbow joint right there. Really strong ratchet click. It's good. Very good. Very well done. So these, you want them all the way up. Now before I forget, these do have PCC connector ports. And we'll do a separate video for this because this is really cool. I want to show some interactivity with like different uh, PCC sets and stuff like that. But on the legs as well, they just pop out down there. So you can put PCC limbs on and kind of have its own combiner. So. Here we go. And now the fist. There are holes for it to peg into down here. Just got to remember... A way to turn the fist and all that good stuff. 
right. Bring that out. I'm gonna put that there for a second. Zoom out. And these you have to push them in pretty tight, but I'm trying to do it without. There we go. Yeah. All right. There's that. Now I'm gonna turn the figure around. Show you guys how to connect the wings on the back here. There are two up here. I'm actually gonna unpeg these. And then, so you have a total of four. Connector ports, put that back down. Ow. And then two pegs right there, two pegs right below it. This is a bit hard for me to see. So I'm actually kind of hoping for some luck here. I'm going to bring this off camera for a second. Because when I do this personally, I lift the whole thing up so I can see the holes. The black holes on the black back just really, really tough. So there's that. Get him back stable. It's a heavy guy. The feet, as you guys know, well, Aries owners know, they do separate into, I believe, three guns piece or four. Don't remember off the top of my head, but get that all straightened out there. And I'll actually get this camera back. So you guys can see them in combined mode. This out. I actually ran out of camera battery there. Okay, well, we're back. I believe I was at the Canon. I actually had to wait for my battery to charge, but the Canon does have a light up gimmick. Button on the bottom. And it just pegs into the side of either arm. But before I do that, it does have two more pegs there if you want to use it as a gun for Aries. Or it has the standard 5mm peg if you want to flip that out and use it as a really, really huge gun for one of your uh, standard robots, too. But it just pegs in on the side there. Sure. Now I'll review the full Aries in a separate video, but just wanted to show you guys Phobus and how this thing looks all put together so far. Height on this guy is pretty big too, right around the same size as the other Pretty King. If you're a Rex on mid settings, just over 13 inches here it looks like from my end. So let's say, I don't know. 13 and an eighth, head up, about 13 and a quarter, so, here we go, it's a big bot, big boy, and we will, in our next review, take a look at the full thing, see ya.